Superheroes, always known for their bravery, courage, and the keen ability to help society with unique abilities. Some have the power to fly and save people from falling off bridges, and some can detach their arms and throw them. Yeah. This is The X List, where we count down the top 10 most useless superheroes in comics. Number 10 Skin. Skin is a member of the X Generation, and in current holder of the grossest character we've talked about in an X list. What's his amazing ability? Well, he has six feet of extra skin that he can mold into a multitude of equally gross things like blocking attacks, stretching slightly, impersonation, and yeah. We pick Skin as number 10 because yes, he is indeed helpful in some ways with his elongated epidermis, but at what gross, stretchy cost. You're welcome, Eric. Number 9. Doorman. Doorman is able to warp people through his own body. Basically, he becomes this human portal. I mean, door. So in other words, he's the world's shortest range teleporter. Fantastic. Yeah, he can use this to be useful in certain instances, but can you really call him a hero? He's more like the human pool. Double entendre. Double entendre. When you have characters like Nightcrawler that can teleport basically anywhere with basically anyone, Doorman cannot come close in comparison. Number 8. Bouncing Boy. Bouncing Boy is able to inflate his body, and like his name implies, he can bounce around being a completely pointless superhero. Making number 8 only because it is implied that he has slight invulnerability when inflated. Also, in an alternate universe, he was a very talented engineer, and engineers are cool! Though he is part of the Legion of Superheroes, which is a very well-established team, at the end of the day, he's just the world's deadliest bouncy ball. And that's not saying a whole lot. Speaking of the Legion of Superheroes... TRANSITION! Number 7. Matter Eating Lad. Just like Bouncing Boy, Matter Eating Lad was a member of the Legion of Superheroes, and he has the radical power to eat literally anything without dying. Really rad power. He's not even special. His entire species has this power. No combat training, no special abilities, just eating poison or iron without injury. Matter Eating Lad is the equivalent of my dad after he smokes those special cigarettes of his. Though eating anything may prove useful, how many times on a dangerous superhero mission does eating a villain's poison thwart the villain? It may prove an inconvenience to the supervillain, but whoop de doo Number 6. Razorback. Speaking of those special cigarettes, someone must have been puffing on a few back at Marvel to create this dumbass. Razorback's a dumb hero with a pointless gimmick. Razorback disguises himself in a warthog-like outfit, so you may be thinking, maybe he's strong, maybe he's fast, maybe he can summon pigs to fight, or something. Nope. His only power is that he can drive any vehicle without prior experience. What does that have to do with pigs?! Somebody please tell me! Please! But sure, I mean, if you are good at something, just put on a suit and call yourself a hero! <laughs> yeah, that'll work. When pigs fly. Or drive. Number 5. Cypher. Cypher is a member of the New Mutants, and he just shows how useless a superhero can be by literally being only able to translate things. Apparently translating things is now genetic because he is labeled a mutant. So, yeah. Being able to speak every single language is impressive for a human, but for a superhero? I mean, I can drive pretty darn well, but does that make me a superhero? Maybe I'll go down to the store and get me a pig costume, call myself Razorback! <laughs> Cypher can prove useful as a teacher, maybe even a representative for the UN, but as a crime-fighting superhero? Everything he can do, my smartphone can do better. Number 4. Almighty Dollar. J. Pennington Pennypacker. I don't even have a joke for this. That name's a joke. Even for pun names, that's horrible. His only power is that he can shoot pennies from his wrist. Yeah, he can just he can just create pennies from the aether, apparently, and just shoot them from his wrist. That's it. I don't even have any I, I don't have anything else on this guy. He was in a comic called NFL Super Pro about a superpower football player. C Cause comics! His powers are worth more than the comic he was created in. What even is this guy? Number three, Dog Welder. You heard me right. I'm not joking. This guy, his name is Dog Welder. 
I don't even know. This freak show is part of a series called Hitman. Within the universe, he's part of a small team called Section 8. His weapon of choice? He has a blowtorch in a bag of dogs that he welds to people. Just, just a little important note, he doesn't kill. He just sticks dogs to people. Do I really have to go on? Do I, do I have to say anything else to convince you that this character is terrible? Number two, Arm Falloff Boy. Do I even have to say anything? His, his name says it all. It's all he can do. He rips his arms off and beats people up with, with his arms. Not even with super strength. Just some weird looking dude who can pull off his arms without bleeding. Should He should call himself the human starfish. Don't you have to be stupid somewhere else? Not until four. Number one, Jin Genie. Jin Genie takes number one on our list sheerly because of one destructive factor. More than just useless, she is an outright hindrance and danger to herself and her hero team. Her power is completely dictated by her blood alcohol content level. She can create earthquakes that could be measured by the Richter scale, but would only be equal to that of her blood alcohol content level. Meaning that she has to be completely plastered to use her superpowers correctly. Meaning just one drunken stagger and her entire team could die. Remember kids, alcohol is for superheroes! Wait, wait, I don't think I got that right. If you like this video, be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube for more x -less. If you'd like to see a list or have an idea for an upcoming video, comment below and thanks for watching, you nerd!